What's going on, guys? So, I have a cool, well, I guess it's kind of cool, a cool video today. Uh, many of you may be asking why I'm laying on the floor. I will tell you that shortly. Anyways, so oftentimes in backpacking, people think that, oh, I have to be an ultralight backpacker. I have to have the lightest stuff. I have to spend tons of money on gear in order to, you know, be happy and to go cool places and to be a backpacker. Wrong. I am going to show you my summer gear loadout. You can see some of it right here. That I use and I still have a ton of fun. And especially because tomorrow, well, time of recording this, tomorrow, which will be the same day this video drops, Friday, I am going to be going backpacking um, with a cool guy, Steve from Packs a Lot. Um, he's a great guy. I'm super excited. We're going on this cool trip. And I have some gear that's new and some gear that is old. And it's not all ultralight. And I still have a freaking awesome time. So let me show you everything in my gear list. Okay guys, I'm going to show you everything in my gear list. Sorry, I got raccoon eyes from work today. Anyways, I'm going to show you everything and I'm going to start with my big three obviously and just work across. Um, now this isn't everything, gear changes obviously from time to time, but this is the basis of every trip and a lot of the gear that I take and some of it's actually new today. So let's get started. Okay. So start here with the big three. So this is the Perea Outdoor Products Bryce two-person tent. I really, really love that tent. It's a great buy. Um, really light, pretty small package. Um, and it has served me well in a lot of like harsh conditions, snow, rain, wind. I really love that. And I'm gonna actually do a one year review on this backpacking trip that I'm heading on of that tent because I love it so much. Um, next is the Nemo Astro. This is brand new. I found it on Amazon for a really good price. And it has like an inflatable pillow built into it, which I thought I would try. Um, it is really, really comparable to the uh, Nemo Tensor, which is a sleeping pad that I've used for quite a while. And so I thought I'd give this a try. It is a little cheaper, so... Obviously, I want to bring budget gear items that are still um, great quality, and that is something that I'm trying out. I'm super excited for that because it's basically the Tensor, but cheaper. Um, so we'll see. I'm really excited. Uh, this is just one of like the Amazon Trekology uh, sleeping pillows, inflatable, really nice. Um, it actually outlasted my buddy Eric's Sea to Summit um, because I don't know why, but it's still going strong. I still like it. I actually ordered a new one. I've had a problem with the shipping on it. It's supposed to have felt and stuff, but this has done really good. Really great buy for really cheap. I got the Kelty Cosmic Down. Great sleeping bag. Uh, it's a 20, to 20 degree. Yeah, 20 degree does really well. Um, I'm actually waiting on a UGQ Bandit quilt to replace that, which will cut out a pound of my pack and get it smaller. So that's kind of one way that I lighten my pack is just with a little bit better gear and trying something new. So for cooking, I have got quite a bit of luxury items here, and it's because it's just an overnighter. I'm only hiking three miles. This isn't a lot of weight for me, and I'm just going to have a good time. So I got my pot, my stove, and my spoon, all titanium. That's for most of my meals. Um, I got my 8-inch Sea to Summit pan, which is for the meat, the dinner I'm cooking. Obviously, I got this propane tank. This is the big one. I have like half a bottle of fuel, and I don't want to go buy a small one, so I'm just going to pack that and try and burn off more fuel of that 
trying to just save a little money. I just picked up this grate for a campfire. So I will be cooking steaks for dinner, which I'm super, super excited about. So I picked this up heavy, obviously, because it's steel, but uh, it's small and slim, and I'm not too worried about the weight. I got my Sawyer Micro Squeeze with a dirty bag and then a two liter clean bag, and then just the coupler for the squeeze. Uh, I got my first aid kit. Um, if you want to see what's in my first aid kit, I'll put a video link up here. Uh, this is a great bag. Um, Devin from Backcountry Exposure makes these bags, and they are awesome. I love them. Now, this is a really, really extreme luxury item. That is just a fleece blanket, like a small fleece blanket. Um, but I like it for like an extra pillow. Um, possibly if I get cold, I like to have that. And it's just really nice to have to kind of, mostly for a pillow to separate me from this material here, which is why I'm, I am ordering a new one with fleece lining because I want to kind of downsize this. But I honestly just like to have this just for the comfort of if it gets a little colder because I sleep pretty cold, so I like having that. Uh, it doesn't weigh, it weighs like half an ounce, but it's just space mostly. So I know I don't need it huge like huge luxury item but I like it and I'm gonna keep packing it until I figure something out mostly because I get cold so right here we'll go here world's lightest backpacking saw and I'm working on a review right now for this this thing rips through wood three ounces super awesome I have got my new backpacking tripod, carbon fiber, small 28 inch tripod. Still got the ball head. Um, I use this because I like to take long exposure photography, so that's why I take that instead of a big full size tripod. I got my tackle box full of my fishing stuff, 35 feet of small paracord for anything in camp, bear line, tying the tent down, you know, anything. Got the Black Diamond Storm. Love this light. I've been using it for about three years now. And I just, I haven't found anything that's that. Well, there's obviously things out there that are brighter and lighter. Um, but just haven't felt the desire to change it. So I just still rock it. I might get something new that's brighter and lighter. So Thermo SZ seat weighs like two ounces, maybe not even that. I just like having this for kneeling on, setting stuff to keep clean, and to put in between my camp chair and my butt, keep the cold air out. It actually works really nice, and I mean for an ounce, the uses for this thing are insane, so I just take it anyways. Got my toiletry, um, I got a bottle, big bottle of hand sanitizer toilet paper and some biodegradable wipes just to clean up at night. This is also a huge luxury item. Many of you may be saying, oh, you're going overnight or like, why don't you, you know, not take that. You don't need it. I like to take this. Um, I'm of the mentality, be prepared. It's just something I take and I use these items. I train for all of this here, all of this weight. So... The weight isn't a concern for me. Um, I go out into the backcountry to enjoy it, and so these things just help me enjoy the backcountry, which is what you know I'm trying to portray to everyone on my channel. Is you don't need to follow a certain standard. You don't need to do things a certain way in order to have fun. So, anyways, enough with my rant. Got some deodorant, a pack towel, body glide small thing of soap for dishes and obviously my hands and some small toothpaste so that goes there camp chair also from trackology works really well really love that chair it has changed the way i camp so really like that uh, i won't leave home without it those of you that don't use a pack chair take a pack chair at least once change your whole your whole view on uh, backpacking that thing is awesome uh, let's see let's go down here 
So because I'm getting into photography, I have some graduated ND filters and some other filters in this case. Obviously this is a luxury. I like to do night photography and long exposure photography. It's kind of something I've picked up. So I bought this case for some filters and stuff. I'll see what I can get while I'm up there. Uh, I've got the Kiva Outdoors backcountry porch, which is nice for outside of my tent and setting stuff up. Weighs like an ounce. And it's like a 3 by 2 tarp. It comes in super handy. I have a small phone um, grip for any time lapses or something. Super light. Cheap. I don't really care if it breaks. I've got in here a micro USB, a iPhone cable, and my little LED rope light. That gold thing there. I don't know if you, there you go. Those are my LEDs. Um, and a small battery pack for like 8,000 milliamps. This is just my overnight stuff. I can charge my camera and my phone off that. Okay. So I just picked up this. This is the Orvis Encounter fly fishing rod. Super excited to try it. First time ever fly fishing. Uh, so we'll see how it does. Obviously I got the reel. I got my food bag full of snacks and my breakfast items. Like I said, I'm cooking steaks, so most of my food won't be packed until tomorrow when I leave. I do also have spices that I throw in there. Um, some oil, some salt and pepper, um, steak seasoning, um, some Italian seasoning, and uh, other seasonings. So I'm really trying to do like actual cooking while backpacking because it just looks fun. I'm kind of getting sick of mountain houses so that's why I'm doing that obviously weight but I don't care sunscreen uh, mosquito repellent wipes I don't know if I'll need these because it's pretty early in the season but I don't want to get up there without them this is a bag another bag by Devin from backcountry exposure this has got my camera batteries some more filters and an SD card all waterproof so I'm really really liking that keeps it organized so let's see clothing yes clothing I got my Patagonia micro puff really like that really warm really awesome my night clothes and just some dry clothes I got a fleece jacket long johns extra underwear shirt and socks that's all my clothes that I take right there. Um, I really like having them just clean clothes just to change into just in case I get wet or something and for sleeping, which is why I keep that. I got my Mountain Hardware Exponent 2. Love this jacket. Really, really dry, really awesome. Way better than any of those ultralight backpacking jackets in my opinion. That thing is the bomb. I have my Kuyu Peloton 240. This has seriously, along with this chair, changed the way I backpack because it's so light that you can do stuff in it and still feel, you know, warm, but it's heavy enough to keep you warm, if that makes sense. The fit is great. Obviously, I love the design. I don't know, I just kind of like this camo design. And it's just really meant to have some hard use and keep you warm. So this has become one of my new favorite pieces of gear. I have some gloves that I like to take. I don't know if I'll take these. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I just thought I'd throw them in there. I got my just harness for my bino harness right there. Now let's see. I got my extra magazine that I take for my firearm. Obviously my firearm right there. I have my Garmin InReach Mini, which I will be taking. I have my Solomon X3 Ultras that have been in use for three years now, still going strong. Probably could replace them. Um, as you can see, treads are worn out right there, but they still work really good and they're finally broke in. Um, Solomon's take a while to break in, I've found. So it's kind of hard to buy a new pair once you have a set broken but I probably need to at some point. I have a Columbia Omni Shield 
um, shirt that I'll be wearing. It's like a button down, kind of light hiking shirt. Um, I have my shorts out, but I don't know if I'm going to be taking my shorts. I may be just doing pants just because of how early it is, but we'll see. And then, obviously, I take one thing of water, and I have that two-liter bladder in there that I fill up when I'm at camp. And then to hold everything in here is the Osprey Atmos 50 AG. This is my favorite piece of gear overall. Um, this thing is super comfortable, fairly light, and it just holds gear really well. I just have no desire right now to check out any other pack just because it's still going strong. I just love the fit, the feel, the quality of this pack. So I'm just going to keep using this. Yes, I know it's not ultra light. It's not the lightest and there's many other better bags or whatnot. But for me, this is a great buy for great price and the quality is amazing. So like I said, I have the 50 and everything fits in here just fine with some room to spare. And I love it. And then I have my bino harness and my binos, which I use at night to kind of scout around and just add something different to the channel just to kind of make it unique. And then obviously I have like my survival kit on here that I carry around with me all the time. And then right here, if I can add it, um, I always have, well, kind of worked anyways. I have my Garmin. It's always on me because this is always on me just because I like to have it. So yeah, that's that. Um, I think that's everything. So guys, like I said, this is basically everything I'm going to be taking. And this gear pretty much comes with me on every backpacking trip for the summer and most of the fall. This is what I've found that really helps me when I'm backpacking. Like I said, I'm not ultra light. I don't really have a desire right now to go to ultra light because obviously the money and just because I don't feel a need to. Um, when I find a piece of gear that is better and lighter and smaller and still makes me feel comfortable and still gives me that, you know, excited feeling to use it, that's when I buy a new piece of gear that is lighter and better and I will spend more money for it. Because I do, I like to lighten my pack, but that's my point on my channel, is you don't have to find that ultralight gear. You don't have to go to extreme lengths, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to go have fun. This gear has all been purchased, you know, with my own money. I've searched and searched and searched, went through sales, splurged on some items, obviously, because I wanted them really bad. And... They really help me have a good time. So that's what I want to portray to you guys is don't feel that you need to have the newest, best gear to go backpacking. Like like I said, I'm going to go have an amazing time. And if you guys want to see that video, it will drop a week from when this video does. Because I will be going out. Obviously, when I drop this video, it will be Friday. And then the next Friday is when the trip video will come out. So I'm super excited. Uh, I love this part of the trip, just getting your gear ready and the, the excitement of going backpacking. So I'm going to get this gear all packed up, get ready for my trip tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on new pieces of gear, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I'd love them. Um, and I'd also like to know the base weight of your pack when you're going back, backpacking. So... Comment down below what your base weight is. Right now I'm sitting at about 25 to 30 pounds, depending on food and just if I add any extras. So I'm really comfortable with that. I train for this amount of weight. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of this weight. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you later.